Hello folks, my name is Gary with Happy Camper RV Sales here in Boise, Idaho. What I have for us today is the Heartland Shadow Cruiser. I'm really excited that we're carrying this line of trailers. They build these trailers right here in Nampa, Idaho, right in our own backyard. So that gives our customers the opportunity to own a trailer that's built locally from a locally owned and operated dealership that still prides itself on customer service and attention to detail. I think that's a pretty special pairing. But let's take a look at this particular unit. This is the 225 RBS, and I think it's got some great features and benefits that might be something that you would like to own in your next RV. Let's take a look. All right, we're gonna start with the exterior of this Shadow Cruiser. This is the 225 RBS. As you see, it has a full power awning with the LED light strip. It has the solid steps that give you a very secure platform to climb in and out of your RV. Works great for kids and for pets and for adults even too. This has aluminum wheels, fiberglass exterior. This particular unit is equipped with a lot of great features, starting with the water heater. This water heater is a gas electric DSI. Now, what that means is, is this has an electric element to it. So you can use this off electricity as well as off propane. And DSI stands for direct spark ignition, which simply just means you don't have to go outside and light this in the cold. You just flip a switch from the inside and it'll light on either propane or on electric. It's a six gallon fast recovery. Here is your fresh water connection. You also have a satellite television connection there for watching television outside. Along the front half of the exterior here, you have a full pass-through storage compartment. That light switch there comes on when you open this compartment. Inside this compartment is a battery disconnect inside of the trailer, as well as your solar charge controller. So what this does is this tells you the condition of your batteries as far as how much solar is being brought in from the sun. Currently right now we're inside, so it's not bringing in much of anything but it is there and that's really nice to have. It's got 190 watts of solar panels on the roof already. So you're already gonna be able to take this boondocking and still be able to keep your batteries charged up. This also has an inverter prep to make adding your own inverter easy. You can see that this has got aluminum framing throughout, not just on the studs, but the, the bed frames are all welded aluminum as well. It's a little higher attention to detail in this finished compartment. It kind of shows you a little bit about the Shadow Cruiser line and how they're constructed. This also has the molded front end cap. Much more resistant to rock chips. It looks nice, it keeps clean, it doesn't fade, or crack. It's got the power tongue jack and dual propane tanks. There's another battery disconnect outside here as well. So you have two different places where you can disconnect your battery system. That's really handy so that if you were working on something electrical wise and you didn't want the solar panels to be bringing in a charge um, while you're working on something. As you can see, the other side here has the baggage door compartment. These are big doors. These are a slam latch and they're magnetic hold. Pretty great. So the slide out, there's, there's quite a few different style of mechanisms of slide outs. The tried and true models have what I, I think, the ones I think are the best are these dual rack and pinions. The dual rack and pinions are most robust. They're pretty easily adjustable if they ever were to go out of adjustment. And they even offer a manual override if your batteries were to run dead. I really like that feature, and I think it's an important part of a slide mechanism that's this size. Coming around towards the rear here, we have all of your water connections, electrical plug-ins. This is where you have your detachable 30 amp power cord, satellite and cable television connections. It's got your city water connection, as well as a black tank flush. Here is a sprayer outlet for um, 
if you wanted to use that to rinse out your sewer hoses or just to wash your boots off or anything at all. So here is your black tank and gray tank valves. Looking underneath the trailer, you can see it is fully enclosed. The underbelly is enclosed on this model. This is a Four Seasons model, which means it does have a furnace duct blowing down into the tanks, keeping your tanks warmer and climate controlled. It's prepped for the Lippard on the go ladder on the rear, and it's a full walk on TPO roof. It is also prepped for a backup camera as well, and it comes with a spare tire. So that is the exterior. Let's go inside and take a look at the floor plan. Okay, here we are inside. First thing you notice is you've got a lot of space due to this slide out. There's no carpet in here, so it's easy to keep clean with pets and kids and just life. It's got a queen size bed, lots of storage compartments above, closets to the side. It's got a great kitchen with a very large L bar. Room for a large television as well. And the bathroom in the rear. For a small trailer that's only a 22 foot model, this trailer gives you a lot of space. This U booth allows seating for six people. You can convert that down into a bed for more additional sleeping opportunities. It's got nice pleated day night shades. And another thing that a lot of customers are requesting is this style of refrigerator. This is a gas electric fridge made by Dometic. And what that means is this will run off propane gas while you're camping, while you're dry camping. See a lot of the 12 volt models that are coming out, some people don't really like them as much if they're doing a lot of dry camping because they do use a considerable amount of 12 volt power to operate. These here are the tried and true RV fridge that's been around a very long time. They operate off propane and very, very little propane at that. And they allow you to go camping for a longer period of time without worrying about your batteries running down. In conjunction with that, this also has the 190 watt solar panel on the roof, which keeps your batteries charged for longer and allows for more off the grid excursions. The kitchen has some really great features. It has a full stainless steel sink. It has an oven and a stove top. This is actually has a uh, suburban elite air fryer option, which is an industry first. So the fan there on the rear allows you to have an air fryer option in your RV. Pretty cool. It's got some great attractive looking cabinetry and drawers. All these drawers are full extension, ball bearing design. They even have the little touches of on the top here where they separate where your forks and knives and spoons and cutlery will go to. Lots of storage here for pots and pans. Some above as well for plates, food items, graystone microwave. Really, really nice. And then around the back side over here, it has more drawers over here and more storage compartments here. These are pretty large and they do pass through to the other side of the kitchen. That's pretty handy. Again, for a mid-sized trailer like this to have as much storage options as it does, I think is pretty unique. Underneath the bed here, you have a little open space, which is really great for just kicking your boots off. Um, people with pets oftentimes might even put a little doggy bed there for their, for their dogs or cats to, to come along with. Um, or just some other things you'd like to have easier access to. These mirrored closets are right here. And what's really handy is you see this in the back. And that's pretty neat because it has a little cutout here 
So you can actually have your phone plugged in right by the head of your bed and it's not on a shelf to get knocked over or a cup of water or something per se. So you have access to your water and phone and anything you'd like to have by the head of the bed, but it's not right there to get knocked over all the time. I think that's pretty neat. You also have these overhead compartments above for more storage, for extra blankets or things. Pretty great. These shades here just pull up. And as you can see, it's got some great windows. Those are tinted windows. They open up and allow a lot of extra airflow in. Another great thing about how this is constructed, it's, it does have a ducted AC and a ducted furnace. The AC is ducted through the roof. The furnace is ducted through the cabinetry. No holes in the floor of the trailer. That's really great because when you drop something and it falls down there, it's hard to clean up. They break really easily, and you're reducing your, your insulation by cutting holes in the floor. Running it through the cabinetry is a little more work, but I think is worth it. The roof is a curved radius roof, which allows for a better usage of the insulation in the roof. Um, and it also sheds water and snow much better than the flat roof. Got again, some more storage compartments here in the rear of the trailer. Very effective storage solutions here. As well as just an open cubby hole right there by the entrance of the trailer. Let's take a look in the bathroom. This is a great foot flush style toilet. It's got the glass enclosed shower. It's got a nice medicine cabinet and a good size sink. I see a lot of these sinks and they're so small, you can't even fit a hand to wash in at a time. This one is, is small, all right. It is an RV after all, but it's large enough for both hands to fit in at the same time, which may seem simple and easy to ask for, but in the RV industry is not always the case. This is your shower here. Very nice. It's got a lot of headroom. In fact, let me step in here and I'll show you just how much room you have. Okay. Here I am inside of the shower here. I'm six foot two and I'm wearing pretty tall boots today. So that gives me plenty of clearance here to, to fit inside this shower. I have enough room, no problem whatsoever. So for some of you taller folks, Okay, guys, that about wraps it up. I just wanted to show you this tour of this 25 RBS Shadow Cruiser by Heartland. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope it's something that you might find interesting. If you'd like to look at this model or any others that we have, please go to our website at happycampertrailers.com. We have a great selection of new and used inventory arriving daily, and we're here to serve your needs here in the Treasure Valley area. Give us a call and I'd love to help. Thanks.